Okay, now here's question number 33 from chapter number 5 of HC Verma. Uh, find the mass m of the hanging block in figure which will prevent the smaller block from slipping over the triangular block. All the surfaces are frictionless and the strings and the pulleys are light. So see in this situation, uh, this block will go down with acceleration A and this system will go forward with acceleration A. Okay, uh, let's draw some basic forces first. Mg downwards. This is capital M. Okay. Tension T upwards. And here tension T on the right. Now what we are doing, we will take them together as one system. So for this block, I can write down that Mg minus T equal to Ma. And for this system of M plus M dash, I can write down T T is equal to M plus M dash multiplied by A. Okay. So I can put the value of T from this equation into this one. So I get Mg minus M plus M dash into A equal to MA. When you will rearrange this equation, you will get A equal to Mg by M. Okay, wait. Just a bit typing error over here small m plus capital M dash. So M plus small m plus capital M dash. Okay, this is the acceleration of the system. Now again look at just this block. This block is not sliding on the wedge. The block is moving with the wedge with the same acceleration A. Okay, so let's draw the FBD of the block again. Right, the block has mass small m. And if you draw the forces, here we have normal force acting on the block and downwards we have mg okay and since the wedge is making angle theta with horizontal so the normal force will make angle theta with vertical and the block has horizontal acceleration a so if you draw the components of these forces okay if you draw the components of these forces uh, we still have mg downwards okay uh, then we have n cos theta upwards and n sin theta in horizontal direction okay so now we can write down that n sin theta along horizontal will be equal to ma and along vertical n cos theta will be equal to mg so when you take the ratio of these two equations, divide this uh, this equation by this equation. So you take the ratio, n will cancel out and sine by cos will give you tan theta. And over here, m will cancel out and we will get a by g. So that's it now, just put the value of uh, a over here. So a is capital Mg by m plus m plus m dash so this is equal to capital mg by m plus m plus m dash okay so g will cancel out and then we can write down m plus m into tan theta plus m dash wait sorry uh, we should write m dash over here and m separately m tan theta equal to m or i get m dash plus m tan theta equal to m tan theta minus 1 so i get finally m is equal to m dash plus small m tan theta divided by tan theta minus 1 so i should do one correction over here uh, i uh, took the signs wrong so here i have 1 minus tan theta so i'll get 1 minus tan theta okay so this is the final answer